Hi everyone, um, I'm back. So today we're going to be talking about another cosplay organization uh, type hack or how I organize my cosplays. Yes, my cosplays. My 34 plus cosplays. How do I store those, right? You wonder. I live in a two bedroom apartment so it can be a little crazy when it comes to storage. I have done so many stuffing and craziness over the past two, three years of storing. Um, this past year, 2020 was insane. I did 34 cosplays and it, I tried using a lot of the same stuff, but it gets really hard. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all how I store my cosplays and even tell you some options on how you can store yours. So the way I store my cosplays, I originally did them in a drawer and I mean like a clothing drawer. Um, so I would use two of them and I would just start by folding my clothes, you know, my cosplay clothes and putting it in there. But it got to the point where I started getting larger cosplays or more cosplays that included props and just included a lot of things. So for bigger props, I, I don't know if many have seen my giant life-size six foot candy cane that I made that is stored in a closet here in my office because it doesn't have any room in my house. Um, but you could actually hang that on the wall because that doesn't weigh anything. Get some giant hooks and easily hang that on my wall. But do I want a candy cane on my wall all year round? I don't know. I have so many options, right? I really don't. I don't have enough wall space, so that's why it's in the closet. But that is an option. Um, I don't know if many have seen Cami Cosplay's um, studio, but she actually hangs all of her props on her wall, and that is really awesome. So that is an option for hanging your props. But how do you store your actual cosplay stuff? Well, putting it in a drawer is an option, but the other option is actually using vacuum seal bags. Vacuum seal bags are super awesome and they're very easy to store. You could literally put them inside a drawer. You could put them on top of um, the closet. Sometimes there's uh, little shelves in the closet or you can even store them, hear me out, on a shoe rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I store my cosplays now. So welcome to my closet. I own a lot of clothes and I have a clothes problem. So this is my shoe rack. I had to upgrade it because I own way too many shoes. And if you know me, you know that I collect platform shoes and I absolutely love them. I prefer them than heels, so they need more space. So let me show you how I store my cosplays. This is one option right here. So this came with the cosplays. As you can see, they're just in regular bags. So if it came in a bag, you could actually store them on your um, shelf in your closet if you have one and just put them like this in stacks. And right above that, there's actually a vacuum seal bag. So any other cosplays that you know that you won't be wearing anytime soon, you could actually put in the vacuum seal bag. So that is an option. I do have more vacuum seal bags and my pink ranger cosplay up there that I still haven't gotten the helmet for, which is why you haven't seen a cosplay transformation. But um, it is also in the bag that it came with and there's actually a pair of boots in there. So that is one option. Over here, this is my old shoe rack. So it's really hard to see, I know, I'm, I do apologize. My lighting in my closet is very bad, but um, it is just like the shoe rack that you see up top that I showed. These are vacuum sealed bags and I put any of the cosplay stuff that I feel that I'll use first, or if I'm not gonna use any of this anytime soon, then I just completely vacuum seal this bag. This bag is damaged, as you can see, so it is, um, fluffed up but you can vacuum them very thin and then they'll have like absolutely no air on them you just stick them in to your shoe rack this is a tier um two or a tier three this is three tiers of shoe rack so you could just stick them into the shoe rack and um any 
costume bags you could put right on top. So I have the same thing with my yellow ranger. I kept it in its original bag and just put them so like face down. I have my um, Harley Quinn right there just face down. And then any cosplay shoes that you have can actually go on the bottom shoe rack. So I do have cosplay shoes down there. These were for my um, elf cosplay. So they are um, slippers, so I do tend to keep them out. Um, I also have um, props right here on the side as well as hats. So you could do that and you could even stick them in bags. So if you have any extra bags, just stick them right there and you can put them on the side. So you could also do drawers. So I have these two drawers, which is another way I store my, actually wait, that not anymore, anymore with that one, but this bottom drawer. I store my cosplay stuff in here too. And I put props, I put costumes that might have ripped and I want to um, pretty much upcycle somehow. I have um, more bags um, that are the vacuum seal bags in there. And I even have these Belsera bags, uh, which, are my pinup bags and they actually came with some of my dresses but they're really cool to store your cosplays in so you could get zip bags like this and store certain cosplays in them so this has an entire cosplay and i believe it has another one as well so let me go ahead and open this up so we have two cosplays in here. They're actually Dragon Ball cosplays, so I left them in here. There's This is one that I actually still have to do, so I'll probably do this year. So, um, yeah, it's really good option. You put the costume in there and its accessories to go with it. So, there is another option to store. I am going to show you a recommendation that I have for storing cosplays um, as well, but this is only if you have the room and right now I just don't have the room to do it because I have so much clothes that I had to use it for another purpose. So let me go ahead and show you the other option. We are now outside of my closet and I do have a rolling um, uh, clothing rack. So these are very affordable and you can get them on Amazon. Uh, this actually extends even further as you can see right here it extends so I could do the same thing on the other side. This is the perfect way to store some cosplays that need to be um, hung up or that you want to keep hung up with like a pair of shoes at the bottom. Because I have so much clothes, I actually use it for my coats. And since coats are the first thing that I grab in the morning um, or during the day if I'm about to go and leave my house, then it was a super easy way to store. But this is a wonderful, great way to store your cosplays. And the cool thing is you could actually store your cosplays like this and then go ahead and buy a little, um, it's kind of like a shoe hanger and you could hang it right there and then you'll have little shelves. So you could put your props right next to your cosplays. And that's a really great option that I've seen many cosplayers do. I hope you guys enjoyed that organization cosplay type video. So that is how I organize my cosplays in such a small area. Um, I do recommend a lot of these options for people that are starting out and are wondering how they're going to store their cosplays and don't want to keep them pretty much hung up in the same area with their own clothes. If I had the option, I would actually use a rack just like I was showing you with my coats, but I would do the drawer. So I would do the little hanging um, shoe rack so I could have little um, shelves to put my props in and have my cosplays right next to it. I feel like it's a really good idea and I have seen some cosplayers do it, especially in a small space. So if you have the space to have a movable um, type rack like that, I definitely recommend it and they're very affordable on Amazon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry that some of the lighting wasn't that great, but the lighting in my apartment isn't that great overall. And there's no way I can get natural lighting in my closet, unfortunately. And it is nighttime. I do work full time. So anytime I do YouTube videos, it tends to be later in the day. Um, I work until 3.30 or 4 sometimes. So um, I do apologize if there is a delay on stuff. It's because I work full time, everyone, but I do appreciate y'all understanding and I can't wait to bring more videos for y'all. 
I hope you enjoyed this organization video and if you guys want to see more organization videos like this definitely put that in the comments I would love to know and if you are wanting to organize your cosplay stuff and are wondering what to do or you're gonna try one of these definitely put that in the comments below I'd love to see what you enjoyed best or what you're deciding to go with instead all right so don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video bye everyone